Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. Today I have another Dollar Tree haul for y'all and I know that I am totally serving y'all all sorts of eggplant vibes, all sorts of Grimace from McDonald's vibes, but uh, that's how I was feeling today. I was feeling like Grimace from McDonald's. So there you go. So before we get into the haul, I do wanna go ahead and shamelessly plug my last craft video because you know, Dollar Tree notifications aren't sent out for my DIYs, so. Let's get into it. I'll leave the link to that video in the description as well as a pinned comment. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video and stick around by subscribing to this channel. Once you hit that subscribe button, we instantly become best friends. Did we just become best friends? Yep. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a video. And please give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps your girl out to get into the YouTube worlds. I don't know. So let's go ahead and show you all the really cool things that I found at Dollar Tree. And this one I mentioned in my previous video. If you haven't seen that one, I basically took all of the items that are gonna be disappearing from Dollar Tree soon that are great for crafting and you might wanna stock up on. I'll link that one below as well, as well as in the pinned comment. But the one thing that I was really happy to see that was still around was the greenery. I love Dollar Tree greenery. It used to be really, really wonky looking before, but they are getting a lot better. And this makes a floral arrangement just look that much better. So I found this one and then I found the spider plant. The spider plant is more appropriate for nautical decor. It looks really, really good. You can just go ahead and put all of this greenery in a vase and it looks pretty cool too, as long as the bottom pieces aren't showing. And then I found these adorable little Tweedias. I love to pick up pretty neutral or pastel colors while it's still summer and spring because all of that disappears when fall stuff starts when fall stuff starts coming in which should be in one or two weeks if not already the next thing i purchased is this beautiful notebook love 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 the pattern and it gives me a betsy johnson vibe a lot of things at dollar tree over like the last two years have given me betsy johnson vibes and I really needed a notebook because I've been tracking a bunch of things. I have been doing the keto diet and I've already dropped five pounds, so ooh, ooh. some people are against it, some people are for it, but it is working for me and I feel like I'm eating really delicious food all the time. So I wanted to go ahead and track everything, print out some pictures of myself. I regret not taking pictures of myself right when I started because it has only been a few days and I've already dropped a significant amount of weight. You probably cannot see it or tell and that's cool, that's okay, but I wanna be able to track it. So I brought this pretty notebook. The next thing that I was really psyched to see is this cooling towel. This is in like the little pharmacy section, but sometimes you will find it in the makeup section as well. And I purchased this to keep in my purse. I sweat so much it is so attractive and so not embarrassing <sighs> so i like to keep things like this around so that if i look like a little greasy meatball i can just kind of dab myself off especially now in the summer yes folks summer just started woo woo. so even though you see fall stuff everywhere i think it's today today is the official first day of summer so yay to that in that same category i want to make sure that my car is so fresh and so clean so i got a pva chamois towel so that every time I take it through a car wash I can just kind of lightly wipe it down. I kind of wanted to film a car organization video but nah, it's not going to be anything new and exciting. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen all the hacks for all the cleaning and all the things so I just feel like I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel but these things come in super convenient. You can also use this on your countertops. These are so great for wiping down countertops without leaving lint. So even if you don't wanna use this for your car, really great for your kitchen. In the hair section, I've been seeing a lot more of the Goody brand 
little hair things. I love the jewels on them every time that I see them. I do purchase them thinking, oh, I can probably use the jewel in the DIY. And then I end up using them on my hair whenever I put my hair up in a bun or whenever I put it to the side. I love to pin my hair, like especially the bang area to the side and put these little things. It makes the hairdo look not so messy. That's what I did for a wedding because I really didn't feel like straightening my hair. And yes, I will be eventually doing a tutorial because people have been asking me how I do this bun thing with the faux bangs and I will film it because that sounds like a whole lot of fun to film and I know there are curly girls on my channel that do want to know what the heck I'm doing with my hair so yeah before the nautical stuff disappears, I found this cute little mirror whale that says smile. Stuff like this, it takes a little longer to disappear because sometimes they keep it around as room decor. This was by all the decals and stickers. So sometimes you see it a little bit longer, but just in case I did purchase it because I thought it would be absolutely beautiful as wall decor or to use as a stencil. So many things you can do with things like this that are a little 3D, plus it is a mirror. so. That's a plus too. Again, for my car, I got more of the Armor All. For this, I got the multi-purpose cleaner for the inside. So that and this together, I'll probably keep inside so that my, when my car is getting a little dusty, we still have a whole lot of pollen everywhere and it does end up inside of my car. Lucky me, my allergies aren't complaining at all. So uh, yeah, I'll keep this in there so I can give it a quick wipe down, but my car goes from looking white to yellow in no time. <laughs> this is pretty easy to find at Dollar Tree, but never easy when I have a craft in mind. So every time I see it, I do purchase the lace ribbon. Lace ribbon is so pretty at Dollar Tree. I get questions all the time from people that don't know that my crafts are Dollar Tree related, which is actually a lot on where I buy this. Speaking of which, if y'all already don't know, I'm on TikTok. TikTok is an app with random short little videos, kind of like Vine, and I've been posting a lot of tutorials, some of which are already on the channel, some of which are not. So if you do want to follow me on there, I'm gonna leave a link in the description and a pinned comment. Please download it using my link if you haven't, and leave a comment on my shelf video saying you've downloaded it with my link. I would really, really appreciate it so much. And I'm probably gonna start posting more videos more often there. This is another thing that I scooped up as soon as I, ah, oh, no! I just realized that I bought the 13 foot and the 9.5. I was complaining that Dollar Tree was shortening these up and I took a picture of them in stores to show y'all. This was in the same store. So they had the 13 foot one and then 9.5. Look at this difference. So when I saw it, I was like, I'm gonna scoop up all the 13.5. And I got a 9.5. That's what I get for just blindly putting things in my cart. But yes, rope. Rope comes in handy for all sorts of tutorials. This is in the floral section, usually. Sometimes I've seen it in the organizer section. If you can find it in 13.5, cool. If you can find it in 9.5, I would skip it and just buy rope at Walmart, Home Depot, or anywhere else. The only thing about rope there is that it is tightly bound, so you're gonna have a lot of little uh, dense and it's gonna curve all weird. Nothing a flat iron on a very low setting can't fix if you have the patience for it. But I do love using the rope from Dollar Tree for certain things. It is not always the cheaper buy and I think that I have to mention that every time. When you're buying five, six, seven, eight of these just to create one craft, is not worth it. It's, it's not. This is this is another thing that goes quickly. It's the vine garland. These aren't very long at all whatsoever, but during fall, usually they tend to have the ones with the fall leaves. And I really, 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 really love this one. I feel like you can turn this into a wreath in itself. And if you really wanted to make this look like a fall wreath, you could go ahead and sponge paint some of these leaves. You know the deal. We love painting things around here and changing things up. But this is four feet. I don't think they've shortened this. Maybe they will, but I doubt it because I don't think it can be any shorter and look like something worth buying. 
I got this inflatable globe and it is 11.5 inches. This was in the kids section. I love it. I have a craft in mind for this, but I don't know how I'm gonna execute it just yet, which means I haven't slept in days because when I can't figure out how I'm gonna put a craft together, I do not sleep at night. I'm already an insomniac, but when there's like things brewing in my head at night, when it's time to go to bed is when my wheels start turning and I'm gonna start keeping a notebook by my bed so I can just write all the things, all the ideas, and I need to figure this out. These are a really good buy at Dollar Tree. It's the alphabet beads. One of my subscribers did mention that she likes to make little bead bracelets with her son, and I mentioned that they had these and I finally purchased them. They are so cute, the colors are nice, and you can make so many adorable bracelets at home. Dollar Tree also has the little elastic string to make them, so if you don't wanna go anywhere else like Michael's to buy them, Dollar Tree has it all set for a summer activity with your kids. Another wonderful buy at Dollar Tree is the 100% acetone. Once upon a time, not long ago, I was a, once upon a time, Dollar Tree only had regular nail, regular nail polish remover and the one with the calcium added. The sun is just beaming right now, so I'm back to looking yellow, sorry. Um, but now they carry 100% acetone. I don't know when this started, but it makes me happy because before I used to have to go to Walmart to get it and complete some of the crafts. I use this a lot to wipe down letters from the shadow boxes and anything like that. This works on everything, plus when I do nails. Yes, I know, I haven't done a nail tutorial in a while and I'm sorry, I just wish y'all knew how hard it is for me to film the angles and the lighting, it's just weird, it's weird. So now let me show you some of the stuff that I found in stores, which I thought was great, but I didn't need. These picture frames are gorgeous. They're like a picture frame and a shadow box mixed together because they still do have the glass, but unfortunately I just don't have a use for it right now, but still I love the colors, as well as these beautiful patterns for gift wrap. I love them. I found this really cool Star Wars book, and obviously it's based off of the newer movies, and that's all cool, but I always prefer the older ones to the newer stuff, even though some of them are really good. I just like the older ones, probably because I'm older. Then I found this No Lie Relaxer at Dollar Tree, which would have been really cool back in the day when I used to relax my hair before I knew that my curls were this curly. Now I don't use it, but it's still cool to know that they do offer a no-lie relaxer for girls that still do relax their hair. In the baking section, I found these really cool little decorating things for cupcakes. This is really nice, but I wouldn't use it anytime soon, so I just didn't want to have it stored, but they did have really, really, really pretty ones. In the toy section, they had this dominoes game, and I love dominoes, but I already have a set of Hialeah Park Casino dominoes from when I worked there, so I just don't need these, but it is really nice to see that they are adding more and more of their classic games to the list. Now, in the kitchen aisle, I found the Duncan Hines Perfect Size. To be honest with you, I don't like the taste of any of these, and I can't have them anyway since I'm on keto, but good to know they're there. And then, this is the first time my store started doing this, they have a reduced merchandise aisle. It's a little on the funky and messy side, but you can get a lot of things at reduced cost, which is really nice. So that's it for me. Thank you so, so much for sticking around all the way till the end. I appreciate you so much more than you will ever know. If you want to leave some suggestions on what videos you'd like to see on this channel, whether they're Dollar Tree related or not Dollar Tree related, go ahead, leave them below. And if you've watched to the end, here's my usual thing to say. So I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see you on the next one.